Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Oh, that's a crushing counter punch by Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier's got to deal with a cut on his cheek right now. The good news is it's below the eye, but still, it could get nasty as the fight progresses. Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being, because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. Targeting that head with a combination punching. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. That is a strong uppercut there. Frazier's right hand scores well. Good job with three flush punches by Joe Frazier. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed the taller fighter to come in and be short. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. <gasps> he got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali target. Whatever you do, throw that jab. Jab, jab, right with the head. That's what I want to see. One, one, two, all night long. You have to keep up. Here we go. Round two is underway. Hunting with the right. Right on the mark with the hook up top. There he goes with the right hand again. And he just turns that hook up top and it does damage. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Smoking Joe with a big right. Ali's putting forth a great combination there. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Little head knocking with that right hand. He gets off with a combination up top. Big uppercut that just crashed home. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Ali's absorbing a hook. Ali's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. There's that overhand right. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Little head hunting with the left. Good flush shot by Joe Frazier. Frazier's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Good job on the two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. And that does it for this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Frazier's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, so for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it. And we could say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Joe Frazier's not skipping a beat. 
He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Very accurate two-punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Boy, does he know how to do that. Smoking Joe Frazier with a well-placed hook. Frazier's getting the job done with hooks on the inside here, Teddy. Well, right now, if I'm the opponent, you know what I do? I catch that hook on my glove, and bang, I shoot back a straight right hand. Good right hand. Ali's doing well here. Big shot there. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work in that combination is for the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. Gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Turns over that hook upstairs. Ali's the kind of boxer that wants to target, get the combination working, land both punches. Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop it. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. Cut. Joe Frazier's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Oh, what kind of punching is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. To attack back. Right now, he's got to fight against that natural instinct. Right now, teaching has to come in. You know, instructions from the past where he just covers up and he survives. So round number four is underway. Frazier's been looking very good early on. Teddy, you have him up three rounds to zip. I think that's the only way you can have it right now, although I've thought that before, and the judges see it a different way, but he's been aggressive, and he's been effective. Ali's going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit, you want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so put that pressure on, but do it smart. Unable to score with the hook. Good step back counter punch there. A crushing two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. Smoking Joe with a good solid left hand. A solid true uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. A shooting right hand by Joe Frazier. Well targeted two punch combo by Muhammad Ali. Ali's in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Jumps on him. Keep Little volume punching to the body there. Muhammad Ali's right hand scores well that time. The end of round seven. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? You need to move your head more, okay? Side to side. Lean to the side and boom! Dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance. But the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort. It's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people. He missed with that headshot. Good solid combination. Good combination.
combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes to tone him. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Ali's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Joe Frazier's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. What an excellent two-punch combo by Joe Frazier. A huge uppercut by Muhammad Ali. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Muhammad Ali. Final bell of what was a one-sided outing. Well, this one is easy to score. At least it should be. Let's hear how the judges had it. We send it up to the ring. Your winner, Smoke Joe. Frazier's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along. It was easy, and he saw it all along. That's the thing. He saw the punches coming all night long. He was good defensively, and he was good with that left hand. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.